hotel keeper's liability. The hotel keeper's liability act 28th of September 1950 section 1 short title this act may be cited as the hotel keepers liability act now remember I'm not an attorney at law I'm just reading these acts as a citizen of Jamaica Section 2. Interpretation Hotel means any building containing not less than 10 bedrooms for accommodation for reward of guests. Oh, so once you have more than 10 bedrooms, it's legally recognized as a hotel. Okay. Hotel keeper means the person by whom is carried on the business of keeping any hotel so the hotel keeper will be like the owner or manager of the hotel section 2 hotel keeper not to be liable for loss etc beyond $60 except in certain cases $60 now remember this law was written in 1950 $60 was a lot of money then Anyway, no hotel keeper shall be liable to make good to any guest of such hotel keeper any loss of or injury to goods or property brought to his hotel, not being a horse, horse you know, or other live animal, or any gear appropriating thereto or appertaining thereto or any carriage to a greater amount than the sum of sixty dollars except in the following cases that is to say so you go to a hotel something is damaged there you cannot claim more than sixty dollars from the hotel keeper except in the following cases a. Where such goods or property shall have been stolen, lost, or injured through the willful act, default, or neglect of such hotel keeper or any servant in his employ. So if the, hot, the manager or any employee is neglectful maybe that the employer would be like the security guard neglectful in allowing theft of your property then you can claim more than sixty dollars b where such goods or property shall have been deposited expressly for safe custody with such hotel keeper so you leave your goods your suitcase when you come you sign Make sure that it is there. They tell you to keep it there in the storeroom. When you come back, some things are missing. You can claim against it, even if it's valid more than how much? $60. Anyway. Provided always that in the case of such deposit, it shall be lawful for such hotel keeper, if he thinks fit, to require as a condition of his liability that such goods or property shall be deposited in a box or other receptacle fastened and sealed by the person depositing the same. So it shall be lawful, provided always in the case of such deposit, it shall be lawful if he thinks fit. So you can be given a safe to keep your things in. Section 4. Obligation to receive property of guests are for safekeeping. If any hotel keeper shall refuse to receive for safe custody or before mentioned any goods or property of his guest or if such guest shall through any default of such hotel keeper 
be unable to deposit our such goods or property as aforesaid, such a telekeeper shall not be enlisted to the benefit of this act in respect of such good or property. Such a telekeeper shall not be enlisted to the benefit of this act in respect of such good or property. So, I guess if you have your laptop or expensive tablet and they say no keep that on you don't don't leave it in any safe we don't want anything to happen to it and we get the blame and you keep it on you and you lose it or something like that you carelessly lose it then they would not be liable for that notice of act etc section 5 notice of act etc to be Constipulously exhibited. Every hotel keeper shall cause at least one copy of the third section of this act, printed in plain type, to be exhibited in a conspicuous part of the hall or entrance to his hotel, and he shall be entitled to the benefit of this act in respect of such goods or property only as shall be brought to his hotel why such copy is so exhibited so the hotel keeper must display this section section 3 of the act i wonder if any hotel keeper nowadays actually displays this with the 60 dollars hmm. all right so that is the hotel keepers Liability Act of 28th of September 1950.